Welcome to Counter. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the margin of safety, but we're specifically going to look at the margin of safety percentage. In our other lessons, we looked at the margin of safety units and the margin of safety value. So if you'd like to check them out, you'll find them in the links in the description below. We also looked at other cost volume profit analysis. So you'll also find that one in the link in the description below. But what is the margin of safety? Well, specifically, when we're looking at the percentage, this is the percentage of sales that exceeds the break-even point or the percentage of sales a company can afford to lose on before it stops being profitable. The higher the margin of safety, the better it is for the company because there's a greater gap between the profit and break-even point. So what are we saying here? When you look at the margin of safety percentage, this is the percentage by which the sales exceed the break-even point. Remember, the break-even point is the point at which we are neither making a profit nor a loss. So the margin of safety percentage tells you by how much your sales has exceeded that break-even point. What is the formula for calculating the margin of safety percentage? Well, here it is. The margin of safety percentage is calculated as the actual or expected sales minus the break-even sales divided by the actual or expected sales multiplied by 100. If it doesn't make much sense or you're a bit confused, you'll understand it much better with the example that we are about to go through. Another way of calculating the margin of safety percentage is by taking the actual sales units minus break-even units and you divide that by the actual sales units and then you multiply by 100. But you're going to use the first formula in calculating it. So whichever one you find easier to use, you can go ahead and use that one when calculating the margin of safety percentage. And here is the example that we are going to go through in calculating the margin of safety percentage. We're given the details in the production department of Max PLC, and they are 6,000 units at 160 rand each. We've got direct material, direct labor, factory overheads, which are all fixed, and administrative expenses, which are also all fixed. We are asked to calculate the margin of safety percentage. So how do you go about doing that? Well, let's bring up our formula once more. It's the actual or expected sales minus the break-even sales, and we divide that by the expected or actual sales and we multiply by 100. So now let's work on getting these elements that we need to use in our formula. Firstly, the actual or expected sales. Well, we are told here that the estimated annual sales is 6,000 units at 160 rand. So we are estimating to sell 6,000 units at 160 rand. So what is our expected sales? Well, we are looking at the sales value here. So our estimated annual sales or our expected annual sales is the estimated sales units multiplied by the sales price per unit. And once we have that answer, we just need to solve for break-even sales and we can get the margin of safety percentage using the formula. So what is our estimated sales units? And this one you'll usually be given, it's the 6,000 units that you see here because we're told estimated sales units. And then we multiply that by the sales price per unit, which is the 160 rand. So we are also given that one. So we take the 6,000 times 160 rand, it gives us 960,000 rand. Now that we have our actual or expected sales, we have to calculate the break-even sales. How do we go about doing that? Well, our break-even sales, it's calculated by taking the fixed costs and you divide that by the contribution margin ratio. Fixed costs divided by the contribution margin ratio. Another way you can do that is by calculating your break-even units and multiplying that by the selling price per unit. But here we're going to use this formula. So our fixed costs, we already have that's the 80,000 rand, which we were told is all fixed, plus the 55,000 rand, which are also all fixed. Now the contribution margin ratio, we first have to get our contribution per unit and divide that by the selling price per unit to get our contribution margin ratio. So what is our contribution per unit? Well, we're taking our sales of 160 rand and we deduct our variable costs. Our variable cost is made up of the direct material cost of 45 rand plus the direct labor cost of 90 rand, and it gives us 135 rand. Once we have the variable cost, we just take the sales of 160 rand per unit minus the 135 rand variable cost, and it gives us a contribution of 25 rand. Once we have the contribution of 25 rand, we can calculate our contribution margin ratio. How do we get that? Well, our contribution margin ratio is 
calculated by taking the contribution, which is the 25 rand, divided by the sales, which is the 160 rand. So 25 divided by 160 rand gives us 15.63%. Now that we have our contribution margin ratio and we have our fixed cost, which is the 80,000 plus the 55,000 rand that I just mentioned, we can now calculate our break-even sales. So it's going to be 80,000 plus 55,000 thousand rand divided by the 15.63 percent and it gives us the break-even sales of 864,000 rand. I hope you've been able to follow the process we've gone through in getting our figures that we need to plug into our formula. So now we have the break-even sales. We have as well the estimated annual sales or the expected sales. Remember the estimated annual sales is the same as the expected sales so we have everything that we need to do to calculate our margin of safety percentage our actual estimated sales is 960,000 rand minus the break-even sales of 864,000 rand and then we divide that by the 960,000 rand and we multiply the answer by 100 and it gives us 10 percent that means that our margin of safety percentage is 10 percent so how do we interpret this answer what is the margin of safety percentage well it means for this particular company max plc its estimated sales can fall by 10 percent before it can start making a loss or in other words the sales of the company are higher than the break-even point by 10 percent and why are we calculating this well we want to see what wiggle room the company has before it starts making a loss or we want to see by how much our sales or by what percentage our sales can fall before we get to the break-even point and before we start making a loss this percentage also tells the company the risk that it has in making a loss when there is a sudden change in the sales or demand for the company's products the lesser or the smaller this percentage is then the more risky it is for company to run into losses. The greater the margin of safety percentage, the more the company is able to deal with fluctuation in the sales of the company. I hope it has made sense. I hope you've gained value from this one here. You saw the steps we followed in getting the margin of safety percentage. And if you have gained value, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those who think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.